a beautiful soul from my community is living in the US and she offered me to send me some of the products that I wanted to try. Of course, we're speaking mostly about perfumes. And also you have been telling me to test so many brands that are based in the US that were very hard to get to Europe. So that's why I took the opportunity and I have this massive box filled with products to show you. So today I will just show you the products that I received. I sniffed some of them, so it's not going to be like mini reviews of everything because this video would be three hours long, but I'm just going to tell you what I picked up and then it's your task to write down in the comments the products you want me to review. Let's start because it will take a while. Let's start with the discovery sets because I got some. And you have to tell me, as I said, um, if you want a brand review uh, for one of those brands or all of them. I'm not too sure how I will manage that, but let's jump into it. So first of all, I got this Skylar perfume discovery set. Skylar is a clean beauty brand. It says on here, hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin, eco-friendly. They had several discovery sets. I have one with peach fields, vanilla sky, lime sands, salt air, and coconut cove. Those were the ones that were the most exciting to me. As especially Vanilla Sky I wanted to try out for the fall and winter time. And also I got a lot of discovery sets and samples just to try it out and see if I like something in particular and then I can order the um, original big size, but I didn't want to buy all of those perfumes in big sizes and then I'm not gonna like them. Okay, then I got this one. I've never heard about this brand. It's called Being French, Frenchy, Being French, Mood Science Scent Technology. And in here we have Soothe and Comfort, Cashmere Vanilla, Joy and Bliss Solar Fleur, Balance and Harmony, Bergamot Cedar, Awaken and Uplift, Citrus Amber, and Unwind and Reset with Lavender Cloud. Seemed very beautiful and relaxing and more like spa scents. Not too sure about the performance, but um, I was intrigued to try it out. And I also thought the um, Discovery set looked very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. Then I got this one because I'm into celebrity perfume brands at the moment. And I was so intrigued because this is a discovery set from Henry Rose. This is a fragrance brand created by Michelle Pfeiffer but I don't really think that it says anything about that um, on the website or like they don't advertise it with her name, which I think is very cool. And the discovery set is very small and minimal looking. And you know by now how I feel about those discovery sets. Then on the other hand, we have a Toka mini discovery set, which looks absolutely beautiful. I wanted to get my hands on this for so long, but it was always sold out here. So I was very happy to get it because um, they have some travel sizes, but still they are quite expensive. So I really wanted to try those out because I think the bottles from Toka are so extremely beautiful, so romantic looking and also the perfumes themselves seem very interesting when you look at the notes. So, and I also love the, the names, Florence, Stella, Giulietta, Maya, Gia, Simone, Colette, Cleo, Cleopatra, Cleopatra. So I'm very excited. Maybe I will try those out today after the video. Then I got the Finery Discovery Set, which is a brand, um, I think you can get it at Target. And this is a brand that does inspired by 
perfumes let's say in here there is before the rainbow i'm a musk flower bed sunphoria and sweet on the outside so i'm very excited to try them because i do think i tried all of the originals or i have the originals in my collection so i'm very excited to try them i love the bottles the full bottles and the price is very good as well and you can get it very easily if you're based in the US. Then I have another discovery set which I have never heard of. I mean the brand, it's called Net, Nette, and I thought it looked very minimal and chic and the perfumes inside are Rose Parade, La Forêt, Coco Fleur, Tevani and Opening Night, of course. You know, I was very intrigued by Tevani, vanilla tea, sign me up please. Actually, I'm every night drinking a, a tea with vanilla and some milk. So I'm very, very excited to try this perfume out. And actually, when I opened up the package, I felt like it was Christmas day, but like amped up. 300 times. I'm so, so, so excited, but I wanted to get all of the perfumes I wanted to try and then slowly but surely see which ones are my favorite. The last discovery set I got is from Dead Cool, which is a brand that is getting quite popular, I think. And this is, again, a very small, very minimal discovery set. On here it says genderless, vegan, non-toxic. And we have the perfumes, fragrance one, taunt, fragrance two, fragrance three, blonde, then milk layering fragrance. Then one that is called Madonna Lily and one that is called Red Dakota. And I think I've heard about all of the perfumes. So I'm very excited to try those as well. And way back when I was just thinking about doing this perfume channel, I thought about the idea to not only show new niche perfumes or designers, but to show everything that I think is a good perfume. Whether it costs five euros or 5,000, doesn't matter, or everything in between. And you know, there are so many niche perfumes that have a very high price tag. And not everybody can afford those scents, but maybe wants to smell similar or who doesn't want to spend the money. So I was thinking about alternatives for perfumes for a long time. What do I think about it? But then again, a lot of perfumes, whether designers or niche, do smell like other perfumes as well. So I'm not too sure about it, but still I thought about, long story short, testing out some fragrances that are inspired by other perfumes. Just because, as I said, I want to have a range of perfumes that I'm going to show you. Also, there are some niche perfumes, designer perfumes that I do like, but something is missing or especially performance a lot of times is lacking and for those euros, dollars, whatever, I wanted something more. And a lot of times those inspirational perfumes have an even better performance, especially when they come from the Arab countries, but also I think from the US, there are a lot of uh, brands that have a very good performance. So anyway, I ordered this sampler set by Alexandria Fragrances and they do original perfumes, they do inspired perfumes. I don't know what exactly they call it, but this is what it came in. So I'm a little bit uh, confused because they do not have a lid. Um, I have those big, I don't know what the size is. It doesn't say it on here, but they are big sample sizes. And I got Dark Knight, Fatal de Vanille, Moonlight in Paradise, San Diego Exclusive, Sahara Nights, Smooth Sailing and Rouge 
Parmine. I tested some of them and I have to say they are all quite strong, especially in comparison to the originals. I don't think they are dupes. I think the ones I picked up are good alternatives going in a similar direction, but most of those that I tested didn't seem like they're the same. But as I said, the performance was quite good. My favorite um, I tested yesterday was Moonlight and Paradise, I think it was called, which is a alternative to Moonlight and Heaven by Kilian. But in my opinion, on my skin, they do not smell the same at all. They are in the same creamy, fresh, quite fruity family, but that's about it. Also, the perfume from Alexandria had a better performance, way better performance than the Kilian one. Then I also ordered ones from uh, Juliana's perfumes, perfume, and they come in packages like that. I ordered Simply Gorgeous, Catwalk, Pleasant Van Vanille, Time for Romance, Call Me By Your Name, I ordered a lot and I have to say they are very very similar to the originals the one that I tested I don't like all of them and especially the dry down is where it's not like a hundred percent the same as the original but for example I tested catwalk which is a alternative to baby cat by YSL and they smell so 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 similar um, just the dry down was on my skin a little bit different, but still the price difference is insane. And I thought the quality was very, very good. Also longevity was very good. So I'm very excited to try all of those on my skin and see which ones I want to have a full bottle of. Another discovery set I forgot is from Mixbar. This is the scent discovery set and you know what i think this was one of the least expensive ones i could get and it looks very beautiful very cute and also on the back it has a description of the scent which a lot of others do not have so of course i mostly wanted to try vanilla bourbon because it is such a crowd favorite but also the other ones sounded very nice. So I wanted to try them all first before I got a big size. Okay, then another perfume house that does inspired by perfumes. This is Dossier. And I think Dossier is um, a brand that you can now get at Ulta. Is that correct? Or Target? One of those. And the thing is, they didn't have... Um, like small samples which I think is a pity I think they don't have anything like that do they anyway I got three perfumes without smelling them thankfully I like two of the three I got and the other one my husband likes so let's start with Musky Gaia and they come in a packaging like that and this is what it looks like I think it looks really cute and the dry down i like a lot more than the top notes oh my god so this is a um alternative to uh gayak 10 i think it is called by le labo which is a city exclusive so it's very hard to get also very expensive and this is a very good dupe i had a sample of the other one and at first this smells like a barbecue it smells it smells like a barbecue and then as it dries down it gets quite musky and fresh woody quite masculine i don't think i would wear it but my husband fell in love with it then i have woody peony and this is so beautiful so this is an alternative to ex nihilo's fleur narcotique and this is such a beautiful alternative. I would even say it's a little bit more smooth and not as sharp. It has the sharpness that the other one also has, but it's a little bit more smooth even. It's so beautiful. It's definitely a signature type of scent. 
it's woody, it's fresh, it's floral, it smells like an adult, it doesn't smell like very juvenile at all, but still it has this playful fruitiness. There's peach and lychee in here, bergamot, I love it. I love it a lot and I think I will wear it a lot when spring comes because right now I'm craving my very sweet Christmassy scents like powdery tobacco, which is an alternative to tobacco vanille. It's not the same. I have tobacco vanille in my collection. I love this fragrance. On the bottle, like when I smell it like that, it smells exactly the same. On paper and on my skin, it has something a little bit more um, medicinal, not as creamy and smooth as the Tom Ford one, but the price difference is just insane. So for that, it smells very, very nice, just like a Christmas market. It's beautiful. Then on to my smaller travel sizes. So I got two Floral Street perfumes. This one I tried together with you, which is called Arizona Bloom. I got it because I think it was on sale and I don't know if I would empty out a big bottle. So I just got the travel size, but this is one I know and love. I love this perfume. It smells a little bit like another 13 by Lulabo mixed with a fresh coconut water. And it's such a happy, special spring and summer scent. I love the packaging as well. Now that I look at it, I'm like, I wish I got the full bottle. Then I was so intrigued to try Floral Street Sweet Almond Blossom. I even talked about it in a video and said that I wanted to try it. I adore the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's in a collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum. And a lot of people were disappointed because it's very funny. It says sweet almond blossom, but I think there's no almond blossom in here. It's a very fruity, fresh scent. It's an easy grab for me. It will be perfect for spring and summertime, even more so summer. It's very summery to me, more like an alternative to L'Imperatrice by Donjon Gabbana, something like that, like a very spritzy, fruity, fun summer scent, but nothing like I imagined it to be, but I do really like it. I'm just very curious about the performance. Then I got Indigo by Nest. I was so intrigued to test the Nest perfumes, the perfume oils, but I started with Indigo. And let me tell you, I love the scent. This is a tea and fig scent. So it reminds me a little bit of my Tea Yulong by Armani. Then I have one from Elizabeth Arden from the green tea line, which is called Fig leaves or something like green tea fig leaves and it's like both of those combined are what this is i love the bottle it's so beautiful and i have to see how much i wear it because you know i love my tea perfumes but fig is a note that can be a little bit challenging to me so i have to see how much i wear it because the elizabeth arden one for example i do not like then i got the two Sabrina Carpenter fragrances, but in the body mist form, just because I did not know how they smelled at all. And I did not want to buy a full perfume, I think for 30 euros. So I got those for less than 10. I got the uh, Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream and the normal original Sweet Tooth. The original is currently at my bedside table because I'm using it as a bed scent to get a feel for it. They are quite strong for fragrance mists. Let me tell you, I um, have another one on my bedside table, which is a lot of alcohol and then a little bit of a perfumey scent and they are quite strong. So this one right here is quite challenging in my opinion. It says dark chocolate bean, enveloping caramelized amber and musk, sassy citrus, smooth talking almond. This at first was a patchouli bomb. And a lot of people say it smells like patchouli. I have a problem with patchouli a lot of times. And this smells like patchouli for the longest time on my skin until it turns to a 
sort of cappuccino smell. If you know those Starbucks um, ready-made drinks, like the caramel frappuccino drinks you can get at the supermarket, this is what it smells like in the dry down, which is super yummy and such a fun scent. The other one is a lot more easy to wear and I don't think someone will hate the original Sweet Tooth. This, however, you have to get through the patchouli to get to the caramel frappuccino. And since we are talking about body care, kind of, I wanted to tell you I picked up this because so many of you kept on telling me to try it. This is the EOS Shea Better Vanilla Cashmere Cream. This is the hand cream version because the body lotion was such a big bottle and I didn't want her to ship something so big. So I opted for this one and I have it on my hands. It smells very, very good. It's a very soft vanilla creamy scent that I love. So I actually think I will get the body lotion next. And lastly, I wanted to try Sniff perfumes, but the same problem I had with the Dossier perfumes occurred again with Sniff. So they do not have samples from what I can tell. They only have travel sizes, but they were quite expensive and so I wasn't sure. And then I saw that they have a secret menu. So this is a special website and on there they have two perfumes. One is called Dead Dinosaur and one is called da -da -da -da, Crumb Couture. It says it's a messy business. One bite of a hot croissant is an almost impossible secret to keep. This scent celebrates the golden buttery flaky crumbs that are guaranteed to end up on your chest, lap and floor. So this is absolutely stunning looking and it was quite inexpensive. Looks like that. I think it looks so beautiful. And basically this is supposed to smell like a croissant with some jam inside. So I just sprayed it once on paper and I did not get the jam. Oh my God, that's a very strong magnet. For me, it smells very yeasty. It smells like the dough for a croissant. It doesn't have like the almost like smoky baked scent to it. It's like the croissant dough. And when I smell it on the bottle, now I get like this almost artificial strawberry jam scent that I like. And I hope to get it on my skin as well. So I will test this one thoroughly because I know a lot of people are fans of the scent and it gets sold out quite a lot. So I'm very intrigued. The last one is this very small size of Glossier U Eau de Parfum. I'm so happy I got this small size, which was also quite expensive, but I smelled this perfume a long time ago and I didn't really know how I liked it. And I know that Amanda Loves Perfume compared it to Fleur de Peau by Diptyque. And I have to agree, they are quite similar. So. This is a molecule-esque perfume with some powderiness. It has something floral in there, but just slightly. It's a very niche, different smelling perfume. But at the same time, it's not as powerful as the Diptyque one. It's not as powdery as the Diptyque one. It's not as challenging as the Diptyque one. So I think this is a good start to the niche perfume world because this is different from what you can get from a designer perfume, for example, but still it's not too much. So I'm happy with the small size, but I don't need the big bottle. I'm smiling because I think We'll see about that <laughs> in a couple of months, you know. Sometimes you get something, you smell it, you have an opinion and then it changes quickly. So let's see. But this was my super huge US perfume haul. As I said, please let me know in the comments 
what you want to see and how you want to see it. Do you want me to review all of those in one video? Do you want me to do brand reviews of all of the discovery sets? What do you want from me? Let me know in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.